We want to get right to some breaking news. The Clear Creek County Sheriff's Office has confirmed it's received a call regarding an avalanche on Kelso Ridge. Right now, the Alpine Rescue Team is responding. A staging area for first responders is being set up just off of I-70 at the Bakersville exit, which you can see right here on your screen. As of now, there are no reports of victims or what may have triggered the avalanche. Let's go to Marty Coniglio, though, who's out in the back here with more on this area and the snow and the cold that they've seen too. It's a uh, backcountry area, so Kyle, if somebody knows about it, somebody had to be up there. You have to work to get up there. That's, a, that's an approach to the top of Torrey's Peak, so I'm speculating, but it had to be somebody up there climbing if they, if they know about this area. Current avalanche danger across the state of Colorado. Frankly, uh, most of the state in moderate to uh, lower of avalanche danger, including Clear Creek. That doesn't mean anything. Anytime you get above tree line and above 30 degrees in slope, you're going to have some considerable avalanche danger. It is heavier in the flat tops and up around the Rabbit Ears Pass area. So again, I'm calling it an avalanche on Torrey's Peak because the Kelso Ridge area is part of uh, is part of that uh, Torrey's Peak area. There's the Bakerville exit down there. That's right along I-70. It is just east of where you would go if you were going to Loveland Pass or the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnel. So it, it is just east of there and just a little south of I-70. That's where Kelso Ridge is, and that is where this avalanche has been reported today. The other big... An update now to the breaking news we talked about earlier, the avalanche in Clear Creek County. Matt Renew is joining us now live from near the area. Matt, we've heard that this is deadly. Okay, we don't have Matt. Apparently, there were four people we are hearing. People were involved okay. in this avalanche. One person uh, was trapped in that avalanche, and uh, that person has passed away. Right now, rescue teams from the Clear Creek uh, Sheriff's Department, the Alpine Rescue Team, as well as the uh, Mountain Rescue Team out of Boulder, you can see if I step out of the way, are gearing up, heading back out. We don't know the condition at this point of the three other people who were in the back country. As I said before, one person we're being told has died in this avalanche. Three others still up there. Rescue teams heading up to try to get those three people back down, as well as that one person who passed away. Flight for Life helicopter is also flying overhead, not landing at this point, perhaps doing a site survey from the air to give ground crews an idea of what they're going back into but right now about 20 rescue personnel heading off into the back country uh, and trying to assess the danger as they head into what has been an avalanche we're at the Bakersville exit by the way just east of the continental divide it's a popular trailhead where a lot of people head up to gray and Tories this is where they're staging out of then heading the back country again we don't know the condition of the three other people that were not uh, trapped in that avalanche uh, but uh, or the ages or whether they were snow shoeing or skiing, but Kyle, one person has passed away in this avalanche, and that's what we know right now. We'll continue to update this information on the networks of Nine News this afternoon. All right, Matt, thanks so much for rushing out there. We appreciate it. It's really hard news to hear.